Okay, our next guest, Amanda. We spoke to him back in January. Yeah. And he was going to eat dog food for 30 days. I'm so intrigued. I know. And to show the benefits of how all the natural products in mm -hmm. his food. And he did that. He came on the show. And now he has a documentary out that really follows his journey uh, of eating dog food for 30 days. Joining us now is Mitch. He's with Moonster Milling. And, uh, well, welcome back to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, so let's go back in January. You started this uh, documentary, kind of showcasing your product. What's what, what's the takeaways from it? You know, I think at the end of it, uh, one of the things I learned most was just the overfeeding that we probably do is a little out of control. Um, I, I lost a significant amount of, mate, of, of weight during this process, and uh, a lot of it was just from dialing it back the amount of calories I was consuming. And, and uh, the other thing I learned was it can get really boring eating the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I'm sure our dogs get bored as well. And it, it actually kind of encouraged us to come out with a whole new way of, of making dog food uh, through this process. And now we, we allow customers to customize one single bag of food because of it. Did you have a favorite that you were drawn to every time? Or, I mean, it's so interesting. Yeah, you know, our, uh, our, our ancient grains ocean fish was actually my favorite kibble, oddly enough. Uh, outside of the kibble, the meatballs were as good as they could be. So this this one, the, the chicken meatballs were kind of my favorite there. But yeah, it was uh, it was a unique experience, and and uh, I have not had a whole lot of dog food since. Did you get hangry? Did you <laughs> were you sometimes like, man, I can't I can't do it again? Even though it's your good dog food that's good for dogs, sometimes you just want variety. But were you like, man, I'm in a grouchy mood. I'm gonna just go to bed. <laughs> I did do that often. Yeah, I went to bed early. So I stopped being hungry, but I also, it's crazy. I, I could smell hamburgers being cooked from like a mile away. My, my sense of smell did, went, went crazy through the roof. Did you find other dogs wanting to come up to you and start sniffing you? You probably smelled a lot like them. Um, let's talk about real quickly the benefit. Oh, look at you grilling it as well. Oh my, you did yeah. it all. That's awesome. Man. Okay, but you do talk about in this documentary of the chemicals and things that are put in and, and just dog food cat food in general and let's talk about the natural ingredients that's in your product yeah so anytime you see a label and it's got uh, animal fat it's it, there's no there's no regulation that says you have to say what animal that is and so uh, if, if they're not if you're not being very specific on what ingredients you're using um, they you really don't ever know and so when you when you look at our foods we specify what animal the protein comes from uh, all of our ingredients are natural, uh, organic minerals, and uh, you know, really within 20, 30 miles of our facility. And, and Chad, my brother, goes out and actually does farm inspections and crop inspections with the farmers to make sure that they're they're treating the grain with the proper, you know, uh, the, the non-chemical spray mm -hmm. and that uh, everything's GMO free and, and that it's uh, being raised the way that we want it to. That's awesome. Let's talk about the publicity you've gotten from this. Uh, you've been picked up by the national media, Give us an idea of how much attention has you've received from doing this. It's been a lot. Uh, you know, I probably did close to 150 interviews in uh, January and February throughout it. And then it's kind of continued uh, from an industry platform, um, going to trade shows and conferences and talking about the experience and uh, even even got a subtle shout out from Jimmy Fallon. That's awesome. I saw that. <laughs> Would you suggest Manda and myself jump on this dog food diet for maybe even a day, you know? <laughs> I tell you what, the grain-free salmon would do wonders for your hair, Brian. I am in. <laughs> yes, then you got me. I'm in. The good fats. Yep. The good fats. Well, that's good stuff. And, of course, a lot of uh, dog owners out there want the very best for their dogs, do. no doubt. The, I, I mean, know you've got they're, two. They're part of the family. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Keep absolutely. them healthy, right? Absolutely. Yes. I want Elvis and Pippa very well fed. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mitch, you're you're a great guy slash dog <laughs> for, for doing this. Uh, I think it shows how much confidence you have in your company and your product. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, I, I, I've got all kinds of props to you, my friend. Much appreciated. And, and just, uh, you know, go check the docu documentary out on YouTube and, and appreciate the time, Brian and Amanda. Cool. Absolutely. I have, so many, I have so many questions. We need a half I, hour I really show want to this. go to dinner with him, but not at his house because he might feed us dog food. Yeah. I'm just kidding, Mitch. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How many friends did you try to fool to eat dog food? Did you try to switch anything out? You know, I didn't have to switch anything out. Amazingly, people wanted to join me. And so probably I would bet 
uh, over 30 people ate dog food with me at some point during the month. And then the very last day, 10 people, we had a, a final meal at Operation Kindness, the largest no kill shelter. And we, we got 30 animals adopted, oh, wow. but I had 10 or 11 people sit down and eat with me that time. Okay. That's awesome. It that really is, awesome. is so fun, but very cool and a very important cause. So. All right, Mitch, we certainly appreciate your time, my friend. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> God, love that guy. Good